number 14, please, Mr Speaker. <laughs> Mr Speaker, we continue to apply an array of measures to support recruitment and retention and refine the armed forces offer. These include financial incentives, flexible service and an improved accommodation offer. A career in the armed forces provides all recruits with a wide range of opportunities to succeed as one of the UK's largest apprenticeship providers with over 80% of all recruits enrolling in apprenticeship programmes. We ensure that they have the right skills to carry out their role throughout their career and into civilian life. Duncan Baker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. With the war on the continent and a fragile peace in many parts of the world, our armed forces are more important than ever. And my constituency of North Norfolk has a very proud military history with a large number of veterans who care deeply about this. However, in the last 22 years, the inflow of personnel into UK regular forces has only <coughs> been higher than outflow in just six years. Can my honourable friend assure me that the retention of personnel? which he mentioned in his answer, is seen as important as the recruitment. Well, my honourable friend is absolutely right. Not recruiting is bad, but recruiting and then not retaining is even worse for very obvious reasons. I think Defence recognises the need to improve matters both for, the, for regulars and reserves where the issue is pretty much uh, the same in terms of inflow and outflow. I have already uh, this afternoon Mr. Speaker, outlined a, a range of measures uh, that are being put in place to improve matters and improve retention and I look forward very much to the Haythorn Thwaite review uh, for incentivisation that we expect in the spring.